What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Aiden here and today is Spirit Day. If you don't know what Spirit Day is, it is pretty much a day that uh, GLAD started to kind of stand with LGBT youth and stand up against bullying. And you wear purple, so today I am wearing my purple shirt. I've got a, my .5cc Fear Less t-shirt on, which I think is very good for this topic as well. Making this video partnered with Care With Pride and Johnson & Johnson, and it's kind of just a video that's gonna talk a little bit about why it's so important to be yourself, no matter who you are. You know, I think back to my own high school, middle school days, and I was always an outcast. I went to a Catholic school, and so in sixth grade, I played football in my skirt, and all the girls would make fun of me, and none of the boys would even throw me the ball, um, but I would still play in middle school being sixth grade. That kind of outcasted me right off the bat. So. Everyone thought I was weird. Um, I specifically remember not getting invited to a birthday party that everyone had gotten invited to because I was too boy for her girl's birthday party. I distinctly remember this because she was the popular girl and it very clearly pointed out to me by not being invited that I was not cool, I was not popular, and people people didn't like me. Um, they thought that who I was, which was like a sporty, tomboy in sixth grade um, wasn't a cool thing to be. And so from that point on, um, I got made fun of for who I was. That always hurt. I would always internalize it and not really act like it bothered me, but it always did bother me and I would be bullied for it. This didn't really stop. Um, it didn't stop all the way through those uh, middle school years. I went to a Catholic high school for ninth and 10th grade and it was like, well, no one knows me here, so at least then it, it won't matter. Well, unfortunately, a lot of the kids that went to my old school were now at this high school and continued to bully me. So I got bullied again. Now, luckily I was into sports and so I got on the softball team and I had a lot of my so you know my softball crew would would stick up for me you know I, I found that they supported me and no I wasn't out as a lesbian then or anything like that but I was definitely a different kind of girl I didn't wear the same things you know granted we all had to wear uniforms and so yeah I got bullied for just being who I was and I wasn't even expressing it in my clothing so what happened was when I went into 11th grade and I went to a public school that's when I was able to kind of show my true colors so to speak those years really they really strengthened me that was a really long way to get to the point of the video which is be who you are even if people make fun of you even if people try to bully you I say that because if I changed myself if I didn't go through those nights where I felt less than or I felt like crap being who I was, then I would have never built up my confidence in who I am today. If you are someone who gets picked on at school, you know, keep being yourself. It's so important that we stay true to our authenticity, that we don't try to change who we are for other people because looking back, I see people who are struggling, instead of just facing themselves, they would make fun of someone like me. You know, the bully and the bullied have so much more in common than we actually think or we talk about, right? Like the bullied is someone who is like sad and lonely um, and the bullier, the bully, it's themselves, are usually someone who's sad and lonely. But what happens is that these people project it out in different ways. So the bully will be very aggressive and mean and, and try to cover it up, right? And then the um, bullied will be uh, more subdued, will be quieter. It's interesting because these two people have so much relatable things than they actually do things that are unrelatable. The last thing you want to do is look back and be like, man, I wasted so many years of my life um, trying to appeal to other people that I don't even know who I am today. I'm 31 years old and I see a lot of my friends and acquaintances going through this right now, um, especially in this time period of, you know, where we're at in the world and just trying to find your identity. And then I think the other piece is just that like, 
if you are someone who's being bullied right now or are someone who's going through teasing and, and being made fun of, you're not gonna be bullied forever. And if you can find a confidence in yourself now and surround yourself with people who are also super positive and who believe in you and who, who support you, you actually won't be bullied as much. A bully doesn't wanna bully some, like you can't bully someone who's confident about themselves. You can't make fun of someone if they don't give into it, right? And if you are the bully, you know, I mean, you really need to look inside yourself and why are you constantly, why do you get off on putting other people down? Watch any of your high school movies. The bully doesn't end up as, you know, the, the, the valedictorian. The bully doesn't end up like the head honcho, right? Like the bully is never someone that people like. So like, why do you not want to be liked? Is that your own defense mechanism of pushing people away? So if you're a bully, then you could push people away. I mean, I, I question that, you know, I really do question why, um, People think it's cool to bully when nothing shows that it's cool to bully. The people who need the most help sometimes are that bully. And it's really hard to think that the person who is bullying you needs a hug as well. Like, both people need a hug. Like, they, everyone needs a freaking hug. Um, and maybe we'd all be a little bit... Uh, better off and a little bit happier and, and, and confident in ourselves. Okay, that's my rant. I think Spirit Day is a really awesome day for anybody to wear the color purple, to, to speak out against bullying. I hope that you take the opportunity to look inside yourself and just find your own self-confidence. Again, whether you're the bullied or the bullier or if you're someone who witnesses other people get bullied, maybe you're lucky enough to not actually get bullied or teased, maybe you can step it up and, uh, you know, be the support of the person who is bullying or maybe ex a bully like, dude, like, why are you so mean? Like, are you sad? Like, what's going on inside that, that you have to be so mean to other people just to feel better about yourself? Before I end this video, I want to share with you one amazing way Care With Pride and Johnson & Johnson are showing their support this Spirit Day, and that is through the app Donate a Photo. So all you have to do is go to your app store, download the app Donate a Photo, take a photo of you or a photo with you and your crew, and for every photo, $1 will be donated to GLAAD, which is amazing. So go ahead, download the app Donate a Photo, and... Start taking those selfies. All right, thanks for watching. Uh, leave your comments below. I wanna hear um, your stories. Were you bullied in high school? Are you in high school right now? Are you a bully? And I'd also just, you know, I want people to just share a little bit more of their stories with me and with everyone who watches. I really think it's an important message, so. All right, I'll catch you in the next one. Peace. Mm -hmm.